Hi and welcome to Simon Anderson Photography. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a collapsible background my wife got me for Christmas. Uh, the background is made by Photocell. Uh, the dimensions are one and a half meters by two meters which is a very good size. Uh, if you're like me, very limited with uh, space. I normally do my photography in my front room. Um, this is an ideal setup for you. So let's get into it. Here's my light stand, it's a light stand by Polaroid, it's quite a good quality light stand. Uh, on the top I have a background or reflector clamp, which is ideal for this one, just have it pointing downwards and I'll show you how easy it is to set up. So let's move the background as far back as possible. Now the photo cell clapboard background comes in its own protective case which is very similar to uh, all the same principles as uh, a reflector. If you've, most of us got reflectors nowadays. First of all, take the cover off. Get rid of that. Now the same principles as reflectors, so be very careful because when you unfold it, it could um, just ping into place very quickly and perhaps hit you on the nose. So here we go. There we go, there's the, the background. As you can see, we've got white one side and black the other. Um, you can have it horizontal, maybe for group headshots. Or in this case, I'm gonna use it vertically for the height. And now let's just uh, put it onto the light stand. And that's it, the background is set up and ready to go. Uh, with the light stand you can make it higher or lower, depending on your needs. One thing I will say about these backgrounds, uh, if you leave it to hang for a while, the creases, you do get a few creases, they will drop out eventually and there'll be a lot less of them. Um, but because we, you normally blow out a white background, you won't see them anywhere in the shot. Um, the other thing is it does collect a lot of like, hairs and dust bits of black fluff. Um, I recommend getting the rollers, them sticky rollers you get for trousers and suits where you roll them up and down and that would just uh, make it nice and clean. So there we go, a couple of seconds and you're, you're good to go. Now for the pictures I got of my daughter I wanted a nice white background so for my setup I used a, a flash gun either side just behind my daughter. There we go, two cheap flash guns, one either side even distance apart and get a nice even illumination on the background to make it nice and white. Obviously just heighten or lower the flash guns uh, for, depending on the height of your subject and uh, just you can blow the background. Uh, you need to sort of test the settings yourself, uh, play about with it but that's it, two flash guns, background sorted. So now we just need to illuminate the subject. Uh, for this shot of my daughter I used uh, an octobox one side and a soft box the other side just to either fill in the shadows or to give an even illumination and, uh, and just to eliminate all the shadows depending on what type of uh, look you're going for. Now that's the lighting set up for the white background. What about a black background? Now all you have to do is flip the background around. It takes a second. That's it. A couple of seconds now we've got a black background. Now to make it black, as you saw just a few minutes ago, I had a flash gun on either side to illuminate the background, but because we want black we don't want to illuminate that anymore so you can either take your flash guns away totally or you can use them as kicker lights or rim light and illuminate the side of your subject. For my shot I took them away, move my subject forward away from the background a little bit more and the, the line set was exactly the same as the white background apart from the background lights and I've done this all within a few minutes. 
Octobox one side, Softbox the other side, play around with your settings of what suits, and uh, job done. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked the simple setup I've got uh, for very effective results. Uh, if you like the video, just leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be having some more videos coming again soon. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you very much for visiting. See ya.